Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we're talking all about some things that can make a home feel uncomfortable for you and maybe even for your guests and what we can do to fix them. We've got some things to talk about, so let's get into the video. You know what makes a home really uncomfortable? Not having the right furniture for your home and for your lifestyle. I'm not just talking about like, oh, you know, do you like to sit on a sofa? Great, have a sofa. I'm talking about the style, the height of the furniture, the placement of the furniture, what makes sense for the way you live. If you are a very casual person, having formal sitting areas and all of that probably won't make sense for you because you won't use it. And when it comes to entertaining, you also need to make sure the space will function for what entertaining you're doing. If you're inviting people over to watch a football game, having a really formal space maybe doesn't make the most sense. Now, something we've been talking about, a conversation we've been having lately, is all about the height of your furniture and the seat height. And you may wanna have another entertaining area set up in your home. If someone has a hard time getting out of that low sofa, maybe you entertain them in the dining space that has better height on the chairs and you can have a little bit more of like a, a coffee moment, you can do something on the table, that can also work beautifully for you. But be sure you're mindful about the furniture you have in the space and the lifestyle you're living in that space because not having the right furniture for the way you live will just make the entire space unusable and uncomfortable. One of the things that makes me so uncomfortable in any home is not getting a good night's sleep and sleeping on a bed that doesn't have really good pillows, which is why I'm so happy to have Marlowe sponsoring today's video. Let me tell you a little bit about the Marlowe pillow. It was developed by the founders of Brooklinen after years of sleep research. They wanted to create the perfect adjustable pillow to give everyone a better night's sleep. Unlike other adjustable pillows where you just have to remove the stuffing, what makes the Marlowe pillow different is the adjustable zipper. You unzip both sides for a really soft pillow and you zip them both for a much firmer feeling pillow, but I personally like to unzip one of the sides and leave the other one closed. It gives me that really amazing in-between spot where I get something that's really soft and fluffy but offers a ton of support. I absolutely have to have a really amazing pillow, otherwise I get a stiff neck and a migraine and that's not fun for anyone. The extra chill, cooling enhanced foam keeps me temperature regulated but so does my cooling pillow protector which is machine washable which makes it easy to keep things clean and fresh. You know I'm very picky about what I suggest and I've had the Marlowe pillow for about a month now. I recently went on a trip and stayed at a luxury five-star hotel and I hated every moment of my sleep because I missed my Marlowe pillow. It truly is that amazing and offers me so much support. I absolutely love it. Let me tell you, if you get two of them, you save 25%, but if you buy four, you save 40. We love the Marlowe pillow, so we have four. They also offer a 365 day return policy and a two year warranty. Be sure you check out the link in the description box down below. Get yourself some Marlowe pillows, change your sleep and change your life. Another thing that makes your home very uncomfortable is having family photos in your bathroom. When a person is using the bathroom, you typically don't wanna have eyes on you. So we don't need to have family photos in that type of space. If you like that for your personal bathroom, you want your little memories there, that's your business. But a guest bathroom, definitely not. I wouldn't put pictures of myself in there, my family. I don't like any of them that much that I wanna see them while I'm you know, doing some business. Something else we have to talk about is mirrors. You want to be careful where you are placing mirrors in a bathroom. Above the sink, where you are washing your hands, where you're looking at your face, that's a good place to have a mirror. But in an area where you can see yourself in a moment where you don't want to, can make a space feel very uncomfortable. So let's be sure we're mindful about where we are putting these things in the view, the reflection you are getting out of them. So we wanna be careful about where we're putting mirrors, where we're putting those family photos, because it can make a space feel so uncomfortable to feel like you are being watched or to have to watch something you don't wanna see. An easy way to make your home feel more comfortable is to make sure that it's clean. I talk about this every couple of months to remind you, hey, let's get on it, let's do those maintenance items that have to happen every couple of months. And one of those things is doing a deep clean. I always say, have a company come in, have professional cleaners, 
take care of everything for you because they're gonna do the best job and get the deepest clean. But if you're not in the position where you wanna do that, be mindful about things like the dust on your baseboards and what's lurking in the corners, even like the top of your drapes. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at mine and I'm like, are they dusty? Do they need to be cleaned? No, they don't because I take care of my house all the time. But be mindful of it and do those deep cleans because it makes a difference. Nobody wants to be in a house that's like dusty and stuffy and all of that. Open the windows, let some fresh air in. If you've got air conditioning and heating systems, be sure you are changing that filter out regularly and having them serviced. As a matter of fact, Right now is a really good time to get on top of all of those service items that you need in your house. You wanna have your fireplaces and your heating systems turned on and serviced. Those are really great maintenance items to get done now before we get into the season where everybody else wants them to happen. So keep in mind what you're gonna to have to do down the road and maybe you can get ahead of that now to make your house more comfortable sooner. And that also goes for touching up the walls and getting that little bit of painting done. It happens, things get scuffs and bumped into them, and they just need a little bit of that service. So bust out a Mr. Clean sponge, get the touch-up paint, get it all nice and tidy because a clean home feels so comfortable. And even a home that is really clean and you don't have clutter everywhere, if it's not feeling very fresh and tidy, it will feel uncomfortable because you get that kind of stale feeling and you don't want that in your home. You know, on this channel, we talk about interior design a lot, but I also always bring up home maintenance and taking care of the things you already have because that really sets the stage for a beautiful space, which is why if you haven't already, you should definitely take a moment, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload. And after you've done so, please share with me in the comment section so that I can personally welcome you to the channel. One of the things that is guaranteed to make your home feel uncomfortable is not having room to move around the space. You have to make sure you have a good furniture layout and the space does not feel cluttered. There is nothing worse than having to like scurry and scoot around some furniture. It makes the space feel very crowded, very packed and overwhelming, and it can actually be a safety hazard. Let me tell you what, a little while ago, I put on our security system for the night and my husband went downstairs and opened a door and the system went off. I had to jump out of bed and run downstairs to turn it off. And I was able to do that just fine because I don't have anything blocking my pathway. So important that you have access to everywhere in your home, that you have clear pathways. Because if something happens and you have to get out or get somewhere quick, you need to be able to do that. It is so important that you take the time to really look at the layout of your house and buy the right furniture. Don't get something that's too big for the space or really overwhelming because that will be the central focus, the big item, if, especially if you can't move around it. That is incredibly important to not only having a really well-functioning space, but one that's comfortable and one that is safe. Nothing will make your space feel more uncomfortable than it feeling full and crowded and cluttered for every reason out there. Be sure you have clear pathways and access in and out of the space. It will make the space look bigger, more open and fresher, brighter, but it will also make using the space so much more comfortable. Something really important to making a house feel comfortable, in my opinion, is definitely privacy window coverings because they can really change the way you use or function in a space. If you have like really great, amazing direct sunlight, you will get a glare off of photos and pictures and TV screens and just in your eyes. And that is so uncomfortable. I can't tell you how many times I've been somewhere, whether that is a restaurant or a house or just any place where the sun is like directly in your eyes and you're like, hey, can we like <laughs> close those blinds a little bit because it's a little much? You wanna make sure you have really good window treatments. I always recommend having two. One of those should be something fabric, something on the wall, maybe it's a drape or a Roman blind or something like that. And then the other, a really accessible blind that will offer you light filtration. So we still get light, it still feels like it's day Time. We're not blacking out any of the windows, but we get the privacy we need and we get to stop that glare from coming in. I personally like solar shades, the kind of honeycomb blinds. You can get them online and get them custom made for your windows so inexpensively and they can make a huge impact in the space. They also offer privacy. That's something that's really nice to have in a house because if you're like sitting in your living room watching TV and then somebody walks past the window, you're like frozen like, oh, what was that? Like, 
Did they just see me? Are they looking at me? Like there's nothing more uncomfortable than being in your house and like having direct eye contact with someone that is not in your house or not supposed to be there. Like having the male person wave at you in your living room. Absolutely not so uncomfortable. So having really good privacy window treatments, whether those are shears or solar blinds is so important to making the space feel comfortable. Nothing will be more uncomfortable than an awkward encounter you didn't want to have. A space without personality feels so uncomfortable. I cannot stand that when you walk into someone's house and you're like, who lives here? What's going on? There's nothing happening. It says nothing about who lives here. It's like just a, a space. That is so uncomfortable for you to live in because it doesn't feel like it's yours. It doesn't feel like it's your home. And I completely understand that people rent and you can't always make those big changes. You can't paint the walls or hang up all of your artwork, but it's worth taking a little bit of time to see what you can do and maybe hanging up a piece of art and patching those holes before you leave. You can even have an electrician out and change out some light fixtures to add personality to the space. And you know, once you move, you can have those switched back out. And if you're in the position where you can do a lot of those changes, I definitely suggest you look into them because having a space without personality, one that just feels like it's staged, like a showroom or, you know, feels kind of empty is just devoid of character. It feels like a place. It feels like a roof over your head, not a home you should live in. So be mindful that you are incorporating a little bit of your personality, a little bit of everyone in the family into the space. Not everything has to be completely perfect by the textbook rule because you live in your house. When you live in a space that you actually use, it has character, it has personality, and don't be afraid of that and adding it into the space. Those quirky elements are what makes you you. So paint the walls a color, add a really fun pop to something going on or a pattern, uh, put out some of your collections or display something. Family photos are always really amazing. I love that. I mean, like I said before, not in a bathroom, but I like to see them out there. Put them on the table, hang them on the wall. We want to see that. It's personality, it makes your house you, and it tells us a story. It gives us something to look at to explain who you are as a person. I love that. I wanna to get to know people through observation, not just through them telling me. So don't be afraid of adding something into your space that's a one-off or quirky or a different element because it says something about you. It informs all of your guests and everyone about what you like. And it's just something cool you have that like makes your home feel like it's yours. And on the flip side of that, too much can be very overwhelming and not let someone take in any of your personality or anything about you. So be mindful that you're not overwhelming the space, but you also don't want to have a space that feels like you don't live there or it's like a hotel or a model home or something like yeah that's beautiful and we like it in a model home but we don't need to live in that space for us. This time of year with the holidays coming up, one of the things that is guaranteed to make your guests feel uncomfortable is not having all of the extra necessities and products they need. Make sure your bathroom is stocked up. And if you're entertaining and you're hosting, maybe periodically throughout the night or at certain intervals, you go and check out what's happening, make sure everything is clean and tidy and put together because bathroom situations can just be uncomfortable. When you have to ask someone for something, it's like very kind of awkward, like, hey, do you have some of this or do you have extra of that? Like, make sure the bathroom is stocked with all of those necessities. Make sure you have a garbage can with a bag, with a lid on it. Make sure you have some extra toilet tissue under the sink. Some of those little things make the world of difference. And if you're having people spend the night at your home and you have that guest bathroom, have a little bit of extra toothpaste, mouthwash. There's always things people forget when they travel. Makeup wipes, deodorant, even just an extra toothbrush. Having all of that on hand really says to your guests that you put a lot of thought into them visiting you. And that makes the space feel so welcoming, so comfortable. Going out of your way and doing those things for the people that are welcome in your home really says how much you care about them, how much you think about them. So having that little back stock of products is really amazing. And you don't even really have to say, hey, it's there, because if someone doesn't have something, they'll look for 
first and then come ask you. Or if you have guests coming over to your house, you can say, hey, you know, if you forgot anything, check in the bathroom. There's some extra little travel products there for you. And that's that. Definitely go out of the way to consider what little extras and necessities and products do you need to have in your space? Because your guests will probably need those too. And having a little bit of extra stock on hand really goes a long way into making people feel comfortable and welcome in your home. Well, there you have it, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure you share with me in the comment section down below and give this video a like. I want to hear from you what is one thing that makes you so uncomfortable in other people's homes. Share with me, sound off so that we can all get some really good advice. I also know that you know someone that they are planning on doing so much hosting this season. Be sure you share this video with them so their home does not feel uncomfortable because friends help friends. And I will see you in the next one.